come on, let's just see. Let's just see when we get in game. I don't know why you guys are debating it like it's something that we aren't going to get the answer to right now as we head into Heroic. Take it on Team Liquid. Hello! We're getting ready with this game. And Team Liquid, something I want to talk about with this squad is the new. Even in AA, it's been a great map for them. Woo. So let's see if they're able to bring the heat, oh. bring the fire on, on a Heroic Classic here as Nico gets down through Secret oh. along with the rest of the team. Kadian don't know how he wins that, but luckily enough, Elise is there to silence him. Grim down at the B site, out of ammo and out of luck, does get caught in the open. And that's going to leave it on Naf and Elise in this two on two. They've got the kit, Elise is low. Naf needs most of the heavy lifting here, and he's done Nico in. Tessa is getting aggressive, trying to find this frag, trying to find anything. They line up, and Naf swings wide and wins the round on his own. Liquid picking up a little pistol there. I love the lobby aggression, as punished as it gets. It's a trade to Cadian that leaves Grim alone on B with one, and Heroic don't even even get a bomb plant. Familiar territory, perhaps, if you manage to catch Inferno. And this series, this is one hell of a series, especially if Liquid take what would it essentially be an upset win, right, coming into today. As good as we know this team can be, we've yet to see it in 2020. But right now, it could be on our plate today. It's nice seeing Moses actually with team. Smiling you know, as well. And smiling, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's not a sight that anyone's used to seeing. No. So. Smiley Momo. Yeah, Liquid are pumped now after that win, and Heroic are probably feeling like, how did we throw that? Like, how did we lose that first map? So you got to hope that they can reset well coming into this second map. Naf not allowing it. He's got the FAMAS, and uh, we've got a shotgun on twists as well above the hut. I love the uh, the twists or it was shotgun. Man. Yeah. What do you think of the twist sword off? Not so I, he didn't like it, so no. I guess I didn't like it. We got a rafters flash for Stown. They're popping pistols in. Twist, good luck. Here it is. Boom, boom. Oh, twist with the double. <laughs> and now it's all onto Stown in the 1v5. But he does have a Glock, so let's see <laughs> if he's able to do anything with it. Ooh, the suspense, right? Stown. There's Deagle there, mate. He's got a V in the game. He's looking for a V in the game. V is for victory. But this guy ain't no vitality. Nah, man. He's more eight. of a hero. Here he is. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, no, that was a good line. I like that, Harry. I thought, I thought, you know, that's a two for one because V, that's five in the old new Oh, rules. wow, yeah. Yeah, 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 you meant that, didn't you? Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, exactly. Liquid up to two and Kuroi coming Alpha in with Romeo guns. And numerals and all that, man. Alpha yeah. Romeo, yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. favorite Roman city. Um, wow, great stuff. Twist making money. Moses clapping his hands. All is good in the world. Not for Heroic. Here they go, big buyout. We got the smoke on the molly. They've upset, they've disrupted the outside utility and Heroic are now going, oh no guys, we have no more utility. We have no more grenades. We only have flashes to cross the gap that is held by Naf and Elise is coming in to help. Oh dear, this is a dirty, dirty round for Liquid to start off with. They read Heroic like a book. To get that molly down, you have to be throwing that pretty fast as well. So they're doing it, anticipating the spawn side smokes. Liquid, what a read. And everything Heroic have planned in this round is now out the window. They're now focusing on just getting outside and finding a kill here. They know Liquid are going to be fighting after throwing that Molotov. And I said, just two flashes. That's all they have. Both of the Montessas sitting behind Red. He'll be left alone there on a lurk while the rest of Heroic double back into lobby. And like, Nuke is a hard map to get T-side rounds in, even in 2020. Doing it at the minute mark with no utility and no map control no one's down vents, no one's in secret. They've just got a crunch door and Twist is here, back with a vengeance. Big shot, quick tap to Stown, going in for more. Kadian's got the bomb and he does get that trade. It's crucial. Stewie above the hut with the UMP. Nico takes him down a peg and Elise drops into the site before him's out the hut. Heroic, contact play into A, nets them everything and more. Oh, and it's a little bit ugly there. Grim, the last man left alive, just tries to waltz on into that site and Heroic give him his just desserts. They didn't really have a lot to make that happen. And it all falls apart the moment Twist is bested, right? It, it's the attempt to go for that trade on the squeaky players that really makes that spiral out of control. Heroic getting there first and a round that they didn't really have too much to work with in. Now, will the smokes... Oh, I mean, there's no Molotov, so yeah. The smokes will land this time around, which is a nice change, certainly. Stewie spots him. He's got a scout here. Nade going red. It's decent. They're trying to cross. 
running now is Nico, no question about it. His team sneaking behind. Will they double back? Kadian doesn't look interested. Oh, Borup with the bomb. Kadian just holding red. And so Heroic are waiting for these smokes to fade and for fights to be offered up. They know that Liquid are broken. I think if you're Heroic here, you likely expect a force, but I actually respect, again, Liquid did this on Inferno. They just eco early. They don't want to mess around with these force by wars with this brawly, scrappy Counter-Strike. They just want to get their guns in. And they will do so sooner rather than later. Great shot from Stewie, backing CT now as well. And with players in heaven and hell, once that hell smokes fade, Oh dear, this could get dangerous. Look at Naf, he's walked through it. He is creeping behind and stabbing them in the back. Two for Naf, AK out. This is an armorless eco and Liquid are in a five on two. How's this gone so wrong? Naf has absolutely foiled them. Stewie tagging them up with the scout makes it even Wallace. easier for a liege and Team Liquid. It is pistols, no armor, and they keep all five alive. Wow. Everyone, apart from poor Twist, gets an upgrade there as well onto the AK. But now we've got that AWP bought out. Twist actually not getting away with the gun there isn't the end of the world because now we have that NAF AWP and he is a great AWP player on this map. And keep your eye out for him, right? He loves playing over the wards like back garage when he doesn't have the AWP. When he's organ, he'll be watching main and he's a bit of a menace there with this AWP expecting to get pretty activated as well. He's taking that outside. They've really been building Naf up, so let's see what he can do in this round. It's a fast day play. He's not going to get a time to shine here and now. Instead, it's Stewie opening up. Up on the raft as Twist has just hung out. Oh, oh Borup with the entries. Grim next on the plate, Ooh. but it's stolen away by Tessez. And Naf, man, I was just bigging him up, but this 1v4 might be a little too much to ask. Yeah, save and nothing else. Heroic realized, okay, the one round that we actually do have is that that contact play into A where we just sped it up with no grenades. Well, they've got grenades this time around, so it's a lot nicer, it's a lot cleaner. And um, with main cut off, I think it was Elise just running through the smoke, desperately hoping for something as both of his teammates anchoring the site died immediately. And Heroic, lovely little top hit. Liquid already knowing what the problem is, right? It's this A site. And so how will they choose to adapt and overcome that problem? Naf. Still trying to hold on to his gun. Will Tessus allow it? Oh, boy. Flash going in. Naf blinded. Shot in the chest. Tess is dead. And Naf trying to stay alive. Trying to hide behind this smoke. Might get away with a clat. No, he jumps. Oh, it's so close. But yes, yeah, so far. If he tucked in the corner, that was his to stay. But instead, it's a lost gun. You can still rebuy. So, you know, Liquid winning that eco. They're still rolling in dough right now. But you would have liked that. That save for sure after the round got conceded within seconds. Bob, great entries there. And what is the answer for Liquid? Naf going heaven with the orb. No ramp, rather. Fill up the spot with Grim. Main spam for Borup. Kadian's going quick. He drops in. Elite just not even looking, not even listening as Kadian comes in with a backstab and he can go towards heaven as well. Grim missing the time move, but he might know how close Kadian's got. In the meantime, doesn't matter. Every kill is coming through on every battle. It's all in favor of Heroic. Naf, good luck. Right, Naf, all by God. <laughs> what have you got for us, man? What have you got? Naf? Save. Naf? But damn, it feels good to be a Naffa. Let's see what he's able to do from down here. With this orb. Just looking to stay alive with it. However, you can see Heroic, they've got other plans, right? They know it's Naff. they know he's got this big, I was gonna say green gun, but his is blue, like a bluey purple. They're hunting secret. They're looking for it, they're looking for it. There's one, but there's another nearby. Will Naff be ready for it? Oh, oh. right behind you, Naff. Nico's near, and the no scope does not connect. Imagine buying two orbs and getting one kill on a save and then dying with both of them. That's that's Naf's game right now. That's sad. There's not much else you can do. And Liquid, well, they've won an eco before, but this one is a flat USP round. So, heroic. They've woken up. They've come alive. May have lost the pistols earlier, but I don't expect that to continue. AKs are out. Quick smoke. That's gonna land in front of the door. Heroic can fade event drop with that nade. 
already putting pressure on Liquid, already making them think there's someone B. Elise has to be very careful and lower. Even though there's no one down, Grim is also going to rotate with Stewie. So the info is not there. Liquid are just hoping that the players have gone down the vent. That's not the case. It's A. It's all Heroic have wanted in this map so far, and it's free. Only Twist there to stop him. He gets a dink, but it's Heroic with a likely bomb plant and a fourth round. All right, Elise. <laughs> All right. That's a nice little kill onto Stown. I feel Adrian also Donuts doesn't have head armor. So there's a world in which if he goes up this ladder, that could be an AK for Stewie. Stown, man. He struggled last map. This map, some of his rounds have included getting one bulleted by Twist's auto shotgun twice and getting tapped with a deagle through the vent. So really not the strongest start, but not even really down to him. Dead. Yeah, these rounds have been brutal from Heroic. Like, they really, really have. You know, everything's been so fast, and it just feels like the end in the opening, you know, 20, 30 seconds, wherever Heroic are looking to go, they've just been exploding in, and there hasn't really been much from Liquid yet to put a stop to that. It's not even like it's been a money problem, right? Like so often when that's the case on Nuke, you look at it and you go, well, maybe, you know, the CTs haven't been able to afford Molotovs, haven't been able to buy nades, but you've had all that if you're liquid. Heroic just aren't respecting it. They're rushing you down anyway. On top of that, Naf's been a bit unfortunate, right? We mentioned how he's had these orbs both times, he's had them taken down in the save. Es essentially, just kind of being in the wrong place at the wrong time has been Naf's problem there. You know, in the uh, in the first time we saw him bring the AWP out, it was an upper push when he's outside, so that's an immediate save. Next round, he doesn't play outside. He tries to drop down B, presumably to get to secret. But in the timing that he's down in that B site, the outside area and the A bomb site have already fallen. So he's had a bit of a rough timing there in that regard. Now, Naf this time doesn't have enough money for the AWP, so I'm expecting him to play back garage Ooh. like he so often does. Sadly, once again, he's not really pressured outside. They fast vent drop down into B. Elise is here nice and quickly. So is ready to respond, but the B site already belongs to Heroic. And there are still these players over towards the upper side of the map. Tessa's up top silo. Nico watching the lobby that can come in late. And for guys like Naf, that can be a bit of a disaster. If he gets caught repositioning, that can give a kill over. Time being, though, it does come down to these fights in this B site. There's Naf getting executed in the fashion I just described. Stown is holding on to the B site oh. as well, and he's looking flawless while he does it. Elise and Grim, while they do get into B, they can't actually find anyone from Heroic here. Finally, these players arrive late. They peek out, and they deal with the retake. They deal with it well. Grim, he would need the full 10-second stick, and that is just not going to happen, is it? Yeah, that got really scary for a second. Even though Stown finds a couple from the secret side, uh, with Tess is still up and Nico in lobby as well, like you said, there was there was no one to stop a bomb. Defuse. If Liquid had a kill on the site, they could have just stuck that stuck that bomb. It was part of a decon. Stown checks it, but he doesn't really see much. Luckily, the Molly comes in from ramp eventually, and Tess sprays the defuse down. But there was a period of time where two of those players were upper, and there was no one playing the bomb, no one playing decon. So yeah, nice late rotate from Tess is coming down the vent. We needed that to win the round, but yeah, awfully close, despite Heroic looking pretty convincing. Liquid back to pistols, but as we've seen, just can't count them out, can we? Grim's down lower early, coming up the vent, but Heroic not putting the pressure on A early. Double radio push as well. So Liquid in a second, when they hear this lower control, when they hear those doors swing open and the Molotovs land, they're going to realize and they're probably going to take lobby, uh, finding no one there. It's at least info, but it still leaves you with a lost B bomb site and a retake that isn't realistic. The lobby take comes in now as outside smokes go in. Main is cut off. And so as far as Liquid, no, you know, while Heroic are, are B, they could be heaven. They could be CT spawn for crying out loud. So, yeah, a lot of room for Heroic. They take that B bomb site. They kill the vent rotate of Liege. Molly's are good and Stown executes Naf. So that's a sixth round, almost guaranteed. Liquid are looking for exits at a most.
I've got to say, man, I, I really like it. Heroic really feel like they're kind of gaming the system in terms of uh, knowing knowing when the investments are coming through for Liquid and playing accordingly. Right now, think about like I, I feel I feel like NAF can be the difference maker on this map, right? Let me pre preface this by saying that, uh, I, and they're doing a really good job of just avoiding him. Like think about the game that NAF has had; it's kept up in all the rounds where they know it's going to be an eco. Well, that's where they're running these outside strats. The moment the money's there, it's been fast vent drops. It's been fast. A plays, and so you're keeping that that AWP, that very, very capable outside player, essentially out of the game. And so he's trying to get ahead of it by frequently, you know, like repositioning, going elsewhere. But then that's only serving to weaken this outside area whenever Heroic do eventually try and hit it. You know, we've had some brilliant moments from NAF over in NA. I think specifically whenever he's got the AUG or M4 over towards back garage, man, watching that main position, he's deadly. But we haven't, we haven't got to see any of that yet because Heroic are just dodging him whenever he's yeah. got the money. Stewie's having a good start here. That's always nice to see, right? He's 3-0 and in opening duels for Team Liquid. He's been very, very good over towards that squeaky door position. But yeah, sadly, that hasn't been enough to carry them through these A-site takes, right? Mm. In a lot of these rounds, Stewie might get the opener, but the A-site still crumbles in an instant, it feels like. And due to how it's how it's gone down, right, how Heroic's successful rounds have transpired, Liquid is so conditioned to worry about this A site. Now Heroic can start spreading out, start doing different kind of executes, and Liquid is still going to be worried that things end on a top hit. Or maybe Heroic can just go back to what works. Both are options. Lots of pressure on A with a nade, but you'll notice players are moving outside. This could be a good round to wrap main and come in on that top hit. They're taking their sweet time, though. Kadian backs up into the lobby. Tess says... Jumping up to line these outside smokes up. And Heroic, more of a standard default round. They get a lot of utility out of Liquid. Look, we're at 120, and there's only two smokes and a bunch of flashbangs left. Those mollies have had to come down due to the, the speed at which Heroic have taken A. And that might happen again. Nico is curving round these smokes. Does he want to take main or go fully round to the yard for a heaven wrap? Alige is watching for that contingency as Heroic set up towards the door. How late is Nico going to be to this play? That's the worry, because Heroica looking antsy, walking in to the A site in contact. Stewie doesn't know. He looks down, he sees Tessas, doubles up. Stewie again holding this hot position, and no one is allowed into A. Twist is banging out, Barb through the wall. And while Kadian is B, Nico, he has to double back through secret. Kadian picked up by the orb, and this is a great hold for Liquid. Lovely stuff on that A site. And Nico's lurk, inconsequential. He's got 25 seconds to, to do the impossible here, does Nico? A 1v5, three players over towards ramp side and that bomb out in the prying eyes of Naf's Orp. They finally give him a chance to swing and he takes it. So Nico's just forced to save. He can't even do anything in this round here and now. Finally, we see Team Liquid get a fourth. Will they even be able to deal with this saving play? It looked like Stewie was going to go down there. But does just decide, keeping five alive, the more... Oh boy, that is yeah, that's, yeah, that's ballsy, right? To say the very Ooh. least, like time's already expired and he's swinging in. Now I guess he's on 10 grand, right? So he's all good even if he dies after time, trying to take some of those guns away. Stewie really has been like the standout over here towards A. I haven't really had to say anyone else's name yet, but luckily enough, Twist not only gets that kill on the hut player, but he's also the guy to spot the vent drop, and that allows for Naf to rotate down, catch Kadian with the bomb. You know, you imagine there, right? If that bomb goes down, it's still probably a liquid round, but a 2v5 with the bomb plant, it is a lot more doable than what Heroic was served up with there towards the end of it. Yeah, and while this was a really strong start for Heroic, don't get me wrong, Liquid, that's a, a huge round of pick up. They salvage their economy. They keep this AWP alive with five, as you say, and, and now they can start to build into the CT side. And as we've already learned, like, you know, while while Liquid are famed with the, the choke meme, you know, not being able to close out games, it was quite the opposite on Inferno. It was the comeback story for Liquid. So can they do it again? Naf is playing the smokes, and Nico blinded takes him through him. That's a huge opening kill. Naf was in a perfect position to get an opener there. Kadian's been boosted on red. 
He's not fully on the top, though. He's just holding the box, spotted by a liege with the Org, and a quick refrag. While Heroic may have a player down lower, sounds out Ramp. That's a good timing for him. He catches Grim, who retreats up from B, and now with so much room in the way of Heroic, they are all over the map. They have outside, they have B. They could walk out A right now. There's only Twist there. Stewie's trying to assist outside. He's gone. Twist getting tapped by Borup. A liege on one health, and Heroic, they may have lost the bomb, but they've got a two-on-one against a single point of health. Surely a liege can't get this one through the net. Yeah, it should be impossible, right? Especially with Heroic deciding to, to slow this down and group up. And Elige knows if he's going to win this, he can't win it by playing the bomb, as irritating as that is. Instead, he's got to make some kind of play. He's got to do something big-brained here. So he tries to come in on this wrap down through lower. He knows they're going for the All bomb. Right. And to be fair, Elige has kind of hit the, the perfect timing. It's the fact that they're playing together that should cause oh. the problems. Oh, Elige! Ah, he does get away! He gets around the corner, but Nico there oh. holds on to the round and does best the one HP Elige so damn close and a damn good try at that from Elige in a round where you know he seemed like he was out of it and he definitely makes the right call by not playing the bomb and instead trying to be one step ahead of heroic it's the fact that both players are grouped up going together I think he anticipates he that it could be like a, an A play on the back of that player falling in secret. He gets a bit paranoid. I wonder if that was comped, because just, just there on the replay, after he kills, I think it was Stown coming down first, the second player had the bomb, and he sees the foot stick out around the corner. Like, maybe someone made that call, but you got to wonder if a leech backed up, if he drops to B or goes back up the vent in that one-on-one, -on -one, maybe he wins it. But a straight-up repeak, a, a fight where his opponent knows where he is, no chance in hell. Nice try, though. 4-1-3. Naf trying to style it with the orb. He can't hit the shot to door. Heroic with the lurker outside. It's Nico again. He's been great on his own and getting it done once more. Heroic with the ramp molly can drop lower. Liquid have gambled in this round. They've got nothing else to play for or with. They've put two on that B bomb site. But Heroic, it's a little too good to be true. They've been given an awful lot of room on the ramp, and they know that Grimm is likely to rotate down as he did in the previous round. So this is a read from Heroic. This is some masterful cooling, and they're going to try and en engulf this A site, wrap it from every position. Tessas isn't rushing the Heaven Peak. He's waiting for his teammates to get set up as well. No kills are being offered up. Stown's going to go join Tessas, and Tessas can drop with the bomb as Stown plays the post plant, or vice versa. Grim's coming up from hell. It's again one of those cases of timing for Liquid, but it's all too little too late in this round. Heroic have that ace sight, and they should have the plan. You've got to respect the gamble there for Liquid, I think. There's not much else you can do. Especially after losing out, uh, outside play. I think it was a leash to the Lurk as well. You have no idea where Heroic are. They're everywhere. Yeah, and that's one of the things I think Heroic also do really, really well, right, is is they, they have, like, a very good knowledge as to when they should go slow, when they should pick up the pace, you know, and I think that comes from a guy like KD and being in this exact team. They're pressuring Grimm over here at ramp. He just wants to get away, and he looks like he might. Oh. Nico hunting it down through the double door. Naf survives, but that's it. Oh, they lose two to the bomb, though. That's a little victory for Liquid, although the money's so good for Heroic, it's it's a little ways away from mattering. But yeah, no, like, uh, I, I think that's one of the beautiful things about having KD in here, right? Like, the thing about KD as an IGL is that, you know, he, he frags, so already you've got that, but also, like, he is the, the, the veteran of this team. Like, he is the guy who has been around the longest, accomplished the most over his career. So, you know, when KD insists to the team, you know, if he asks you to jump, you say how high. That's kind of how that works there, right? Like, if he tells everyone to just calm it down for for a second no one move let go of your keyboard we're gonna we're gonna piece this up together you know we're gonna figure out what they've done here everyone listens there's no hesitancy there's no kind of cavalier plays just to try and you know flex a little bit yeah and that decision to slow it right down and realize yeah well grim's one of these players he will have rotated down to b they clear out heaven they wrap into the a site and they don't allow any way for liquid to get back into that two on four yeah and that needs to continue right because letting liquid back in is, is exactly what heroic can't afford they were eight three up on inferno and that map fell with almost a whimper from heroic uh only getting three rounds in their t side so yeah you you've got to worry about that a little bit but right now things are looking far better eight to four Conditioning is good. Another top hit, perhaps. Nico going quick. Naf with the shot. Saves his teammate's life, but Twist won't last long. Naf on the side with the orb, and it's about time he was in the right place to play the game. B 
big 3k opener into A with a bomb loose. Kadian, desperate attempt to try and grab it back. Nap is running around the site with Grim covering. And that is a beautiful hole for Liquid. Yeah, I was, I, you know, you never you never want to drop your AWP into A out of spawn just on the get-go because what are the chances that your opponent actually take that A site on a rush? It's pretty rare. Heroic have been doing it a lot. And after a few rounds where they start to lurk and they start to throw outside takes in, Liquid make the read. All right, they're back to A. They're back to what's been working. And Naf perfectly positioned. Big risk to like not have the AWP outside, but considering how many rounds he saved, he saved or he's tried to save three rounds with the AWP, getting away with one of them. So look at this there, right? Barab's wrapped all the way through ramp. Now Grim is holding for this heaven retake. He's got the woolly hat on. Barab must be feeling pretty hot headed right about now in this 1v4. Gonna try and wrap over here towards Maid. Now he does still have time. He's got time to try and do something. And as we've kind of said a couple of times now, the money is there for heroic. So, you know, if he did want to go for some exits, this might be a good time to do it. Liquid haven't really had a chance to build up any cash on this CT side. Elise is holding Maid and he's pretty far from the angle. He might be able to see the little feeties of Borup if he starts to make his way in toward this position. And it does look like Borup is just going to save, taking us on a bit of a tour of nuke. You're bang on though, Hugo. I, lo I love that Naf just goes towards A. And that's kind of, you know, coming with the reality of like, well, I go outside and I've seen them once yeah. outside. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, like not really getting a lot of action there to begin with. I'll drop A. I'll see if they go for one of these fast A plays and they do. And, you know, you give Naf the chance to play the game and boy, does he play. Yeah, he really saves Grim in this, or twists in this one as well. Albeit for a second, but like just playing the trade game there. Beautiful stuff, shooting as fast as he can. And yeah, every time, there have been outside takes. Naf has been surrounded by smokes. So, you know, when, when Liquid don't molly those smokes out of position, which has only happened once, Heroic get B whenever they want it, or at least secret. So, yeah, that's a nice call. Where does Naf go this time? He is back to heaven. Will he drop in? No, just supporting. And this is good as well. He's not anchoring A, but he can help outside if needed. Ooh, dear, Stounds out the door, getting spammed through the hut as well. He's just going to try and escape, get away with his life. And that was the right call. Could have been finished off there by a well-placed HE if there are a couple left on Liquid. Alij lurking lower, checking the vent, making sure no one's down. And with that now under control, Grim can hang, hang on on the ramp. We've got those outside smokes, but honestly, it looks like a bit of a fake. Maybe Nico can go behind them, but the rest of Heroic at the bare minimum are moving towards ramp. Grim, he hasn't got tasked with a proper hold here. This is it. This is his time, and he performs perfectly three bomb dropped with a fourth grim traded but that might be the round locked in nico's eaten an orb shot and while he will send naf back with a molotov it's another one on five it's not gonna happen what? naf what are you doing today these wall bangs don't make sense naf you don't do it to him twice in one series man that's how they get you that's how they catch you how's he done that again through the uh through the ramp wall through the hell wall yeah that's unreal. Oh my goodness. What's he got planned for us if we end up going to Mirage? He's gonna be like just doing like little wall bangs out through Palace or something like through the 10 inch thick brick wall. Check Look this at this. One. Whoop. Bye Nico, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Naf is cracked, man. Naf is cracked, it's unreal. Oh. Bonkers. Okay, and again, Harry, don't want to say it. Heroic, strong lead, getting a little worrying now. Liquid, can they deal with another top hit? It's Mac 10s, it's fast, it's ferocious, but it's unsuccessful in every way, shape, and form. A one on five. I feel like we've said this many a time in this map. And yeah, okay, Heroic, sure, they won the half, but at what cost? Yeah, it's it's one of these games again, right? Where where, where heroic was sat up in the, in this phenomenal position, right? They're they're eight four, they're laughing all the way to the bank. Things are looking real good for them to have a stellar T side. But then there's that moment where Team Liquid realise, well, they're playing A an awful lot. The outside control has basically just been down to these set smokes whenever they run it, and then they just go straight to secret. Very rarely are they kind of giving us these outside fights. So let's play around this idea of A. Let's have a liege hinging over towards the vents to fast drop B if it's needed. And then they also have Grim at Ramp, who's very, very mobile. And then the added advantage, as we've seen, of having Naf playing Heaven, not only can he help A, he can rotate Ramp to assist Grim to get those trades. Ooh. Kadian, 1v5, and he hears Naf taking that little step there over towards CT. So this could be an AWP in Kadian's hands. Peeking up, Kadian gets the Tech 9 kill. Now, no one's nearby to trade yet. There is a Liege waiting over towards Secret, but he's missed the timing. Twist is low at Ramp as well, but playing this little off angle should... Ooh. 
Whoa. spot him at least. No way. This is done. Surely. Yeah, with 15 seconds, right? Kadian's got to get this bomb down in the next few seconds. And look at how many players here for Liquid are there to greet him when he tries to punch those numbers in. Does he survive? The answer's no. Alige with the door swing. Locks in a seven round half for Team Liquid. Eight for Heroic. And it's very, very similar to Inferno. This time though, a Heroic going to take us the distance or do Team Liquid pull it back? your destiny, slay your enemy, raise a legacy, no more apologies, trust your abilities, gather the energy, pull yourself back together, and stay enough track forever, child of the nation, we seek redemption, time for salvation, today is meant to be, day of victory, time for history, Reverse the tendency, fight the entropy, channel your rivalry. You're playing for fortune to come. You're hearing the sound of the drums. It's too late to backtrack, go back your back now. Keep your feet on the road and stand up. You've got what it takes to fight back. Don't stop until you black out, out. It's pretty hard to say. I think Liquid will always be a, a team that can uh, that can surprise, that can um, that can that can win games definitely. Uh, but I, I, I'm. I don't see them doing necessarily like super good. Uh, I hope I'm wrong. I will be surprisingly. Uh, uh, it will be surprisingly good to see. Um, but yeah, I, I think um, it was mostly tough for them to uh, because they they had to play the world here in NA and uh, the NA scene is uh, known for struggling right now. Um, I hope they are they're holding up to it by the way and uh, and full support for for them. So yeah, it's definitely the, the hardest thing for me to, to, to judge. So once again, we stand here at halftime with Team Liquid having closed the gap, having closed the distance as they look to right their wrongs and figure out the mastermind behind Heroic in Cadian. Now we move into this second half of play and Heroic on their map pick. Maybe starting to get a little bit worried as to how this yeah. one shaped up. I don't want to go all doom and gloom on, gloom on Heroic, right? Eight T rounds on you, pretty damn good. They're going to be happy with that, but it, it definitely does worry me after what we saw back on Inferno. Different map though, different game, and another chance for Heroic to bring us to a three map series. I hope we get there. Liquid though, looking to make it quick and concise. And it's a fast main wrap as well. They just jump through the smoke, Borob. Can't hit the shot. Nico can from heaven. It's a fast hell wrap for Liquid. They're taking as much space as they can in the, in the yard. Garage as well. Twist has the P250. Tess has gone from hell. That opens up a path to B. Most, not, not the most standard way you get down into that lower site, but it will work for Liquid. And there's no one here but Stown. Yeah. And Grim looking at... Whoa! 
it's a little bit rough because he checks close left first and they want to try and flush out Stown, but the problem is, oh, Stewie, all right, all right. He's delivered some hope. He's delivered a chance. Down, waiting with Naf on the other side of the door. Ooh, what's happening? Nico is going to deal with Naf and we get into this two on two. Now, Stewie's been looking so damn good in this series. He's got the USP over here towards ramp side. Twist playing over on the Zantares spot, looking down into the site. Bomb planted, and it is a ramp plant, right? Stewie can keep an eye on it from here. Nico's wrapped all the way around towards a single door. They're trying to split into the site. They're trying to isolate these fights, but no one's checked for twist. Finally, they will. Shot. And it falls to Stewie, but both players are so damn low. And this is right for Stewie to lock in the round. There it is. Pistol goes the way of Team Liquid. They tie this game up at eight to eight. And we're getting a bit of a Stewie 2K classic right here. Feels good, man. He's looking so good. He's also flawless at opening duels right now for Team Liquid. Sat five and oh, you think about those top side pushes and how good they were looking for heroic well one man who was trying to put a stop to it early was stewie he was on a before it was cool and liquid back in with an 8-8 score line we got a force for heroic as well liquid have never really signed up for the force by wars so let's see if heroic can do any better it's fast into lobby the smgs the mp9 speeding in liquid hear this they give it up it's smoked off it's pretty obvious and so liquid's trade positioning and try and take control in yard there is a player in lower it's Cadian. that deagle spam could be so good oh he's got one for the jump oh scroll wheel lets him down it's a leech to try and entry up again but look how many players there are on both fronts it's down to a two on two and both heroic players have already set up in b What's the grim sneaking, but Naf's like, nah, mate, we we running. We running it down here. Tess says, oh, the metal. Dropped over in the site. Yeah, having to spam through that little column in the middle of the window. And they're going back up the ramp. Borup, they're, they're saying bye-bye, Borup. They leave him. <laughs> and now he's seen it. Double back. Oh, but they're going back down. The real middle oh finger to Borup. And Borup's like, nah, mate, I've gained the system. I'm Eight. up in this A site. And they ain't even there. And now he hears them running. And he's like, really? <laughs> really? Is this what they've done to me? Well, back down he goes in oh towards my. B. But the bomb's already planted. It's a bit of a disaster for Borup. He was just here moments ago. And so he's got himself the Galil. Doesn't have a kit and isn't in the best of spots here. One flash to try and set himself up. But if nothing gets offered up to Borup, I feel like he's just going to save, right? He's a very much like by the numbers player, as good as he is in these clutches. He knows this 1v2 is unlikely. And so he's just going to bow out of the round. Team Liquid, that was great, man. That was yeah. really, really nice. They just walk right by him. Like, that was a super risky play because both of Liquid were looking at ramp, like, running there. If Borup was wide, if Borup was on the rafters, he, he kills them both. They have their back turned. But Liquid full fake him. They run ramp. They hear him open the door and rotate. And they just go, all right, we'll double back. We'll call your bluff. We know you're going A. You don't know we're going B. And that's actually a really, really good call for Liquid. Like, risk, sure, but reward even more. And Liquid deal with a force of heroic. It's going to have to be an eco around that Galil. Borup can drop his pistol, but otherwise you wouldn't imagine much can come through for Heroic in this round. They didn't make it close enough to convince himself to force again. You like A hits, huh, Heroic? All right, so do we. Oh, they're trying to give them a taste of their own medicine. And yeah, man, it tastes pretty ripe, all right. Naf and Elise opens down. Oh, a flick shot up on top of the silo from Stu. And yeah, this one's this one's done. It's dead to rights. It's looking good. Team Liquid pick up a tenth. And this is really nice to see, right? Like, you guys, I've said this a few times. Me and you have covered a lot of NA these last few months. And then every single time we've seen NA come over to Europe, it's like, oh, well, they've Ooh. been absolutely powdered on the bottoms here, haven't they? But it's nice that in the game we get to cast, it's looking good for yeah, Team Liquid. I'm, I'm going to say, I still want a Mirage, Harry. I still want a Mirage. I, I kind of want Mirage, but also if it means like Team Liquid, they're able to get a bit of a surprise and victory over oh. third in the world heroic, that would be cool as well. Oh, the switch. Oh, no. <laughs> uh... Yeah, that, that really. Oh no, nope, never mind. That That's really there. shows us how it's going, right? He he had a free kill. That was Stewie dead, but he switches off to one. Boy, oh boy, heroic cannot catch a break. Liquid, school's out.
Bit of a bonus for Liquid as well. They're running the SMGs back into a gun round and look at the head armor, or should I say lack of for Heroic. Only one helmet on Nico. These MAC-10s ripe. Heavy A setup, you've got to have it if you're Heroic coming into this gun round. But Liquid, they're setting their sights on ramp. It's Tessas, needs a lockdown spray. Grim did it. Can Tessas find the same? It's a safe play. He drops after one. Cadian with a shot to drop the bomb. And he backs up. Tessas with a molly on the package. Can hold on to it for just that little bit longer. This, this is a great start for Heroic. Playing smart, playing safe. And with two lower rotates, they can even re-aggress if they want. Yeah, that bomb has dropped in a bit of an awkward spot. Tessas can actually see around this little corner of the ramp if he does swing out, so he can keep an eye on that, at least see when the bomb has been taken. And there we go, he spots Stewie grabbing it now. Question is for Team Liquid, do they want to commit with the B hit or are they going to try and reevaluate this round? Double dark. Yeah, Tessas and Stown back to back, trying to hold down this B site. Utilities going in. That hasn't forced the rotation out of Heroic yet. And Elige, while all this madness is going on, he's gotten out through the squeaky door. I don't think he realizes just how much danger he's in. There's a player CT vent, there's one Rafters as well, and he looks right at Borup, but he's too busy checking angles. So now they know Borup's Rafters at least. <laughs> it's Nico that's concerning, and he swings on the flash. Twist will trade, but now he's got to offer up even more, and he can't. Twist mollied, and it hit his teammate. It's sl it, it would have gone behind CT Vent. It would have been Nico cancelled out, but instead, it's team damage, it's more info. And the worst part about that is, like, Elige, you can't fault him for that. He's trying to lurk. He's trying to get out A while, while the B fake is coming in. And he gets out A. He sees nothing. He goes, guys, rotate. I'm, I, I think I have A. And... The second he makes that call, the second Liquid start running to A, Elige dies, and then there's two players there. And it's like, ah, oh, now, now we've lost the round, have we? Now we've lost. Molly didn't help. 10 to nine, Liquid. Back in with another buy round. Lovely plays on ramp from Tessis and Cadian in that one as well. And even though that double dark setup didn't get to come into any kind of play, I think that would have really been the final straw on B for Liquid. High flashes. Ooh, yeah. Canadian. Doesn't want to get caught. Stewie trying to set himself up to drop down past main. It does get locked in a fight he didn't really want to take. Tessas is rotating into hell, but then there's also a player here in Garage. There's about to be a lot of heat on Stewie, yet still he's offering up these openers. And the trade isn't found by Tessas. That was his job. Now, in terms of pulling Tessas off of ramp, this has given Liquid a lot of room to maneuver. Stewie is the mastermind of giving Liquid space, giving them breathing room. Finally bested by Stown, but this was all by design, right? Stewie was nothing more than the man causing chaos outside, and that allowed for the ramp split to come in down towards B. Bomb plant for Liquid, and yeah, Stewie only gets one, and yeah, Twist falls right alongside him. But these two players were never destined to play into this round right till the very end. They were there to draw the attention off of ramp, to get all that attention towards outside, and that made the lives of those players that sneak down through ramp that much easier. Mm. Stewie, man, that is like the definition of sacrificing yourself to create room for the team. And the fact that he gets away with a kill from it is even better. Yeah, this is some great calling from Liquid right now. Like, clearly a couple of weeks in Europe, a bit of boot camp, a bit of time against some of the best teams in the world has had huge, valuable effects for Liquid. Who would have thought? This is what we wanted from this team and in this tournament as well with so much on the line. Liquid don't want to go out of 2020 thinking, oh, we achieved nothing, you know? But a, a good placing here at IEM on top of some good domestic results, or well, decent domestic results, you know, not, not exactly top of NA. They'll be pretty happy with this. Let's see if they can run with it. 11 to 9, heroic, cycling by, saving guns and getting away with more and more. Can they find any success on this CT side? 
Liege going there. Oh, the drop from Twist down is not ready. Nico can trade, but it's all too little. It's all too late. Borov drops the bomb inside of A, and Heroic come alive in the daytime. Liege does get that kill onto Nico, who is trapped from the get-go, and Kadian locking on the door gets headshot from above. <laughs> Huey uses the smoke to his advantage, and now a two-on-two -two ensues. Oh, but look at Borov, man. He's gaming around this Molotov, and Tess says sneaking up through the vent while all that's going on. Borup, the real hero in that round, right? Holding that A site, because it almost looked like it was about to get overran. And honestly, if Borup goes like two for one there, I don't even think that's enough to save the day. He's able to take down three in his A site hold, buying time for Tess's rotation up through the vent. Holding on, keeping hope, reined in for Heroic. And with that, you know, that was a very, very important round for both teams. That was Team Liquid's chance to break Heroic's money, but likewise, Heroic have now broken the money of Liquid. So this is their way to get back into it. That blind kill from Kadian does drop the bomb. No. Stewie, no! Oh, he had it. Bye-bye. Oh, into the nade. But once again, you know, he at least gets the bomb down the vent in his own very unique way. <laughs> and it is all on to Naf with the scout. Sadly, nothing found from it. So there's the equalizer for Heroic. That all comes off the back of Borup's hold in the previous round, breaking the money of Team Liquid, and now keeping us all even on this second map. Yeah, man. Bomb, uh, it always goes flying. It, it always goes the last place you want it to, and Stewie can't make it back down the vent. If he did the first time around, maybe he lives the nade, but... I guess we'll never know. Nonetheless, it was only an eco. Liquid coming in with guns. This is the real meat and potatoes of the T side. Heroic 11 all. Kadian back in with the orb. Nah, not quite as armed. Miss smoke? Or is that? No, OK, it's to, to allow for the heaven drop. You often see a smoke land on main as a miss. But no, Liquid do have two cross smokes down. And still that smoke to, I assume it's not a miss smoke, to let them drop off so they're not orped from behind garage. That being said, there's a gap. So maybe it was meant to be the triple uh, smoke cross outside. We'll find out because Liquid moving behind them. Cadian, what does he want to do? Got that heaven smoke coming in and he drops one towards hell as well. Cadian not in this round. It's Stown instead who finds Stewie on the cross. Cadian fires a shot and Twist goes above. A liege with another entry taking the trade onto Stown. This A split is coming through and Heroic have no idea how deep Twist is. Yeah, that's the thing, right? They know there could be outside players, but they are just not ready for the sheer speed and pace of which Twists has gotten into this position. Borup, oh, dead man, oh, dead I love man. Borup's gone. Borup's surely out of this one, out of luck, out of time, and out of the A bomb site. That there is this site cracked wide open by Twists. There is this double ramp rotation, and Kadian is able to best Naf, so they've at least got a spearhead in this retake. They've at least got some ground gained of which they can try and you know, pick up the pace to get back into A. But it's the Heaven Post Plant, coupled with Twists being here, Elige able to support from main, that really makes this tricky. And Grim has been given extra time to tuck himself in. No one is ready for Elige, so he blindsides Nico. But now he might need to do a little bit more. The bomb is not planted for Elige, so Twist needs to stay alive. And if this kill gets offered up to Cadian, that could decide this round. There's the oh. swing, and now Elige, more than ever, has somehow got to do the impossible, and he can't. Both kills. But ultimately, it's the round for Heroic. That is a really nice little bait there. They get on the bomb to force the peak from Twist, right? You can see Cadian knows he's got that shot once Twists commit, but he's just faking it. And so Cadian does a great job of not giving up the aim of the game that the orb is scoped up heaven and then he just says to his teammate right you get on the bomb i have got your heaven peak like that takes a lot of balls yeah. to, to trust in Cadian to hit that split second shot but he does it and that saves the round for heroic they should have not got back into that one yeah it didn't feel consequential at the time with grim swinging from a hut as he heard tessa's cross but he gets like 90 damage off all he needs to do is stay alive there if he does lobby is already liquids firstly elise is on a backstab keeping heroic constantly pressured and that round is a free round for liquid if grim doesn't swing a bit of a problem that costs liquid a lot as twist is covered by that orb as you say yeah great great work and that comes back to how we talk about like heroic trusting in their in-game leader, trusting in the experience, uh, mantle of Cadian, uh, such a great player. And Heroic, they take a round out of nowhere. That was a bit scary, but they hold the lead by one. Liquid forced to rebuy after that. It's Galil's Galore on two. Fast outside Cadian. That's uh, one hell of a tight gap. He's not going to be able to see a thing.
or stop them getting down. Nico caught by Stewie, <laughs> trying to play the classic Boomage, which yeah. is the little pixel spot with a smoke drop. It barely works. Nowadays, everyone pre-fires it. And Stewie with another crucial opening kill. He has been one hell of an opener in this map. Tess is on ramp. Great spray. They're going to drop in with the bomb. Tess is mowing them down, oh, tries oh, to oh, swap oh. out. But Twist does get that trade. However, 1v3. Stown is low. Is this really a chance for Twist? Well, he's got this easy at the end, but he can't get caught sleeping. Twists, he swing both doors, he gets their attention, and there's the kill to Borat. But oh. now he's brought down low, and there's the ramp flying in from Cadian, just to seal the deal, just to lock in that 13th for Heroic. It's been a real grind for these guys, but they're still getting the rounds picked up, and that's what matters here, right? Even with the loss bonus amassing for Liquid, the fact that they are having to fully invest into all of these rounds, and they're not getting, you know, they don't get the bomb plant there. That makes all the difference, really. You know, even if Twist doesn't win the clutch, but if he gets the bomb down, there's an investment available to Team Liquid here and now. And that isn't the case anymore. They've got a partial buy, they've got pistols, they've got a bit of utility to try and make something happen. Yeah, this is no longer a Liquid win. This this is uh, them fighting for control. This is them trying to get back in the action. And Heroic running the show. Oh, look at the util damage. The spray with the nade and a molly in secret from Cadian. He doesn't know it, but he's lit up two liquid players. Nico could kill him with a smoke for crying out loud. He's going to jump spot. He's going to see him coming, but he re-peaks and Grim CZ is a beastly weapon indeed. He's got armor and an M4. Liquid, don't count them out of this one. And they've certainly made it interesting for us. And Naf on this outside lurk, if he's able to get this kill, that could matter a hell of a lot. Even delaying the rotation, the fight happening down here on B is kept even. But a lot of these players for Liquid now are low. We are looking at Twist really to be the difference maker. Elise is dead to a nade, he's dead to anything. So he's got to try and play around this bomb. That leaves Twist as this point of engagement. This leaves Twist as the guy who has to shut down the ramp play. Naf is flanking as well. So that can come in, providing Twist buys time. There's the first kill. There is a man at the double door who could look to trade this. Naf, while the attention is on Twist, wraps around from behind, and it's Twist with three, holding his own, backed up by his boys in Naf and Elige that managed to make that round happen. 12 on the board for Team Liquid. And once again, they pick up another one of these partial investments around that they really had no business winning. Yeah, and that's Grim getting the opener as well. That was a huge kill. Nico was the solo Bianca. He's spotting. He like he knows their pistols. He drops the smoke and he re-peaks to try and get a kill before the smoke blooms. I, I like the play to be honest, but he gets run down immediately, double dinked by the CZ, and then gone from the round, giving a gun over that in essence wins Lick with the post plot. So yeah, it's like a little, it's like the spiraling effect. It's like the snowball down the mountain. It builds and it builds and it gets more out of control by the second. Liquid not letting go, winning an eco. And it's all to play for here. It does feel like this extra time over in Europe on the run-up to this event has helped Team Liquid a lot because we're seeing like these same characteristics that they were holding in NA now brought over to the European region. And it is great to see, right? We've got Stewie with his ability to create space and lead from the front, which is a great dynamic for him to have. You know, he's been beasting these entries time and time again. We've got Twist hitting headshots, man. For a while out in NA, he kind of fell a little bit quiet. But that's not the case here and now. Pistol round for Heroic. This could be 13-13 if Team Liquid play their cards right. And there's the liege opening up. The jack of all trades managing to deal with Tessez down here. And he even spots the other. Hi. They're just feeding the beast that lurks in secret. Look at Naf as well, the grimiest positions for the slothiest of men as he tries to look down into the lobby. Now, he has missed the timing here on the first player crossing. So for the time being, the uh, the position of Borup is unknown. Kadian with a nice deeg shot as well outside, but can he get any more? He's got that hypnotic deagle. He's got to hypnotize us a little bit more here. And Ooh. it is a second offered up to Kadian. Now, they don't want to risk taking too long here because this flank is still coming in from Borup, yeah. but Nat turns on a dime. And it's him and Elige to put that 13th on the board for Team Liquid. That's a great check from Naf. That could have been Borup coming in with a crucial backstab. And once Naf came back in on that on that ladder position, he gets one. You can see him con that like, okay, I think they, I think they're still in lobby. I think they're still here. I didn't kill everyone. And he goes and starts watching like lobby entrance. So off of roof. So yeah, very ready for the flank the entire time. And Liquid don't get suffocated, although it gets dangerous for a second. 
boy, oh boy, this game is delivering on all fronts. It is neck and neck, but I say that Heroic are full eco in this round. So this is Liquid's chance to take the lead at 14, and it's Heroic fighting back. Oh my, smoke's outside. Let's see if they land. Yeah, it's, it, it was a three smoke play because there was a bit of a gap. This time they're correct. It's not a worry. Cadian, he was so ready for this. He's flashing them through. Elite should be a dead man walking, but the spray is good and everyone is team white. Oh no, dear, oh dear. They didn't know where the flash was popping. And like a balloon, they deflate. Well, Cadian, flash extraordinaire. <laughs> In the back of this A-bomb site. Arm um, with only a USP, and look at this, charging him down, charging towards him. It's going to be all the Team Liquid. Stewie goes blow for blow. It's the clash of the IGLs, and Stewie comes out on top. 14 for Team Liquid, now in the lead. Looking to put this one to bed mm. in a 2-0 fashion. And this next round now, if you're heroic, right, you've played so many rounds in this best of three. We're only two maps in, but you've been playing for hours. And it essentially all comes down to the outcome of this round. Because if they lose it, they are they are force buying up against 15. I don't they're see pretty much done at that point, right? So they need this rifle round victory now more than ever. Liquid know it, they know the pressure's on, and even then, this bite is whack. No Molotovs. That's a T-Molly in ramp to stop Cadian's push, for crying out loud. They know it's coming, but no one's watching for it. Naf is spamming. Will he be ready for how deep Cadian has gotten? It's a good spam. Oh, Naf reload, he's dead. And Cadian, with an opener lobby, belongs to Heroic. His liquid lineup outside smokes. Nico is the yard player. Stown trying to block things, trying to make them uncomfortable. Is there much of a gap done by that? It's great, Stan, what a play. Setting Nico up for the gap in the smoke gives Heroic a five on three. Yeah, man, you don't want to mess with these Danes and handball, right? These guys are great. <laughs> Stewie will open up at least, putting it into the three on four. And he's done a lot of damage to Tessez as well. Has forced the reposition out of him. This has given Stewie a bit of a berth down here towards hell. And he's looking under that smoke on the other side. Cadian is there. Stewie taking a more literal meaning to throwing everything in and the kitchen sink as he waits up on top of it. Cadian tucked in at ramp, doesn't give this kill away. And that could prove to be very, very important as this round gets into the latter couple of seconds, right? 35 left on that clock. Watching heaven is Tessez. He's tucked in up on the rafters. So that there would deny Stewie this, this avenue, this rotation point. But he waits and he's patient and he's rewarded for that patience. While that's happening, they split in through secret. They've turned this around. This was a three on four, now three v two. And around with Heroic, they're in that horrible position now where they're thinking, well, do we just save? Because these rifles are going to be the only rifles you have to fight back up against 15. The numbers alone, the fact that it's the three v two, the fact that Tessez was tagged up earlier on by Stewie, that all culminates in this save call now for Heroic. They've got an AK and an M4 to try and get this back into overtime. Everyone else is going to be running pistols, maybe some SMGs, maybe shotguns, but that is the extent of it now for the Danes. Honestly, some of this calling has just been excellent for Liquid. The decision there to actually end B instead of A is, is perfection. They're a man down. It certainly helps they get fed on the ramp room. Stewie gets gifted a kill from that re-aggro. Heroic was stacked up her, and Liquid just avoid it. A beautiful call. 15 to 13, the save as you say and desperate times for Heroic. They have got to win both of these CT rounds now to get us into OT. We kind of saw this one coming, Harry. It was an eight round T-side half for Heroic. It felt fine, but Liquid, the reverse choke, the comeback as it's known in both maps, they have two chances to close and all the money to do it. Shotgun on Cadian. We do have a kit, a couple of them for Heroic, and better util than their last gun round. They can stop a faster play into this A site. Molly's outside, smokes are down. No one getting aggressive though. Nico has to respect them as he drops his own Molotov. They're gonna cross the secret. They stall it out, but they can afford to do so. That smoke lasts double the time. Stewie eats the flames, just trying to get that advanced secret positioning, but as soon as he gets there, he realizes it wasn't worth the damage. Tessis has smoked off the choke point and is looking through a gap. He can't afford to give them an entry into this B-bomb site as players have in the past. Well, he tries to duke him in, tries to get the uh, interest get as well, right? Wants to peek over those doors, go for that spot, but they're already too deep and Tessez knows it. 
He's still alone down here towards B. Heroic are very, very hesitant to rotate. Finally, Kadian moves in. And a lot of this round hinging on that fight that Nico is able to win out. This might just activate the B play. Kadian waiting with the shotgun, Ooh. and now it all falls onto him. The auto shot, he roar into life. He's in with the first, but they are into this B site. They have dealt with the players here. Twist moving into ramp, while Kadian keeps putting bodies in bags. And now it falls to Stewie and to Twist. Two versus three, but the bomb under Kadian control, while the secret rap is coming through, almost denied by Stu. And once more, we look at Twist to be this B site hero, to be the man, to get it over the line for Liquid, an unlikely 1v2 as they're just <laughs> literally and metaphorically closing the door on him. They don't want to let him back into the round. Oh. And Kadian locks it in with the auto. 14 to 15 and overtime now, very much on the cards. Oh, Kadian, he had to do everything there. This shotgun in control and under control was the B-bomb site. Very important that Tessas, who's in secret early, doesn't give up the pick. He backs up very safe into B. Think of the last time Liquid ran that exact exact setup where they went hard in the eco towards lower it was nico in the doors who got caught by grim cz it spiraled out of control this time it's not the case it's a lower hold with everyone there danes patrolling the v bomb site and now they've bought their, some, themselves a lifeline a better buy than what was previously available and one chance to get it into overtime i thought surely not with the pistols surely not with the shotguns but heroic they don't go down without a fight Round 30, and a third map waiting in the wings if Heroic can get us there in OT. Alternatively, it's done. Liquid run forward with their opening matchup of Group B1. Will it be that easy? Well, Liquid came here as the one North American team, right? Obviously, we've got Furia playing got in team the region. Knifed. He got backstabbed by Leech. He got right-clicked in the Finally, back. Bit of a handicap heading into this last round. They want to give Heroic a chance. That's how it works with Liquid. They're showmen, Hugo. They flash outside. Nico having to fall back and get off the angle as a result. That's given a bit of a berth here to Liquid to move up, get close to main. These main splits were pretty deadly, right? You had those rounds where Stewie's just barreling in. Leech has been great here as well. They've got the attention of Kadian, but it's Nico who should be worried, beheaded by Twist. Team Liquid, last hope of NA, trying to win this opening game. Can they do it? Tess says, hoping to put a stop to it. He does deal with that first man in, but they still haven't spotted Twist. Oh no! He's down, has his teammates back, and he gets it back under control. That is such an important fight to go in favor of Heroic. If Twist is able to run a muck up in heaven, we've seen how that plays out. We know what goes down when he's given that much control. And so now the numbers are dwindling for Team Liquid. They're staring down the barrel of an overtime. They want to get this game closed out here and now. They don't want this to go to Mirage. And so can Grim, Naf, Stewie, can these three players somehow, some way, pull this round back? They are low on time. They've got 20 seconds. The only thing going their way is this advanced positioning at ramp. They try and get down into the B site. Tess says, waiting in dark. Oh, he's getting overwhelmed, and Naf is able to lay him to rest. Three on three as the bomb goes down, and Stewie hot on the angle, hot in the server, has dealt with Kadian. If Borup and Stown, they've, they've tried so hard to hold this one back. They had the advantage, it was looking good, and now it falls to these two, but it's not going to happen. Oh. Team Liquid, they walk it over the line. It takes the full 30 rounds. But the hope of NA, they win this opening game, they win this opening series, and they look good in the head-to-head -head versus Heroic.